How will some Dallas pop and crack new Steve Boss to this impressive event? It's titled Beyonce and Jay Z Mad at Jaguar Wright Interview. Pierce Morgan apologize. Nikki, Cardi, and Stefan Diggs. Okay. Impressive about to give us tea. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. Jay Z and Beyonce must have been very, very furious about the interview <laughs> that Jaguar <laughs> Wright did with Pierce Morgan because they sent their lawyers at Pierce. Now, oh. I'm pretty sure you all may have heard about this interview. It went viral. Oh, and I was a bit surprised that Pierce interviewed Jaguar yes. because, you know, Jaguar mm. is known to spew conspiracy theories. Yeah, and she has made her rounds on different YouTube channels, which is not a problem. But I think it became a problem when she hopped on a mainstream media platform like Pierce Morgan's Uncensored show and started making claims about Jay-Z and his ties to P. Diddy. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. Ooh. They're a nasty little couple. Oh, they do nasty awesome. things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Ford? people against their will. Putting people on planes yeah, while they're unconscious, crazy. just like Aaliyah got on that plane, unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, Pierce. Now, when Jaguar did this interview, it was pretty shocking to a lot of people, and this Ooh. interview spread like wildfire. I even couldn't believe that Jaguar made it to Pierce Morgan. That was crazy to me. But a lot of the things she said seemed to be baseless, and she didn't really provide any proof. Now, she says she has proof, but we don't know for certain. And Not also, bad. her kind of alluding to Jay-Z and Beyonce having something to do with Aaliyah's passing is just another big conspiracy theory that hasn't been backed up by any real facts. So Jay-Z and Beyonce had to respond to this, of course. So they sent their lawyers at Pierce Morgan. They had him edit out parts of the interview, and they also had him apologize. Well, Jay, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I yeah, said in the like moment, power, they were not present to respond or defend themselves. But now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact. And we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, in, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Uh, but, like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theatre, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologise to Jay-Z and Beyonce. So Jay-Z and Beyonce put their foot down and made Pierce take down the part they where Jaguar right, was talking about far. them. So they're not playing around. And I'm pretty sure some people are wondering, well, why did they come for Pierce Morgan and not Jaguar, right? Because Honestly, Pierce has the money. I don't think Jaguar has the resources to pay out Jay-Z and Beyonce in a lawsuit. I think mm -hmm. the most they can do to her is send a cease and desist. But they would rather get at the big fish instead of the small one. So I think this is why they stuck their lawyers at Pierce. The interview was making way too much noise to ignore. It was going viral. Oh. And I'm sure this sent a wave of panic Moses. through the Carters because they were like, hold on, Jaguars making all these allegations that are very damaging to our reputation, to our brand. We have to react. So Excuse them coming at Pierce Morgan was not only sending a message to him, but sending a message to the world that these allegations are not going to slide with them. They will take legal action. Now, I want to get into this story because this story is pretty this? crazy. Now, the NFL player Stefan Diggs is being oh. accused of some pretty wild things. And if Cardi? you don't know, Stefan was yeah. said to be linked to Cardi B. This was supposedly her side piece. And she allegedly messed around with him when she was eight pregnant. months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Offset did accuse her of messing with somebody while pregnant, which honestly, I think this story was fabricated. I believe it was a PR stunt. Offset and Cardi are still very much together. Oh, and yeah. I think they allowed this story to circulate to get some attention. And I think this story was fed to academics so he could report on it and spread this narrative that- Cardi I would believe this if they drop something like right away. Like, where is the drop? <laughs> And again, she has been having drama and toxicity with this man for years. Their whole relationship is a mess. So 
I, I don't feel like this is too far fetched, but I feel like everybody wants to believe that every single thing is fake and everything's a stunt. And sure, sometimes it is, but sometimes it's it's not. <laughs> sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction, and it's like this is actually their lives at the moment. Because what would be the benefit for them if they're not dropping anything? Nothing is dropped. Was getting her lick back by messing around with this NFL player, Stephon Diggs. And Cardi B was like eight months pregnant. Offset went through her phone and called her texting a nigga. Some dog named Stephon Diggs. Oh, so he got the name. Football player. He done everybody's hoe in the game, which is kind of ironic because every time that girl want to get the their lick back, they go to the biggest hole. Um, what? Slap. <laughs> what does that stand for? That's Cardi B. <laughs> Wait, huh? Do I think Cardi and Stefan were texting? Maybe, but I don't believe they actually messed with each other for real, for real. Like I said, I think Cardi wanted this narrative out to get some attention because this is Why a whole would he stunt, participate? But I will say if this, he's as popular as y'all say he is and he got all this money, what would be in it for him to be dragged into this bullshit? Stunt. Oh, it's starting sense. to backfire because now Stefan is being caught up in some more serious drama. And Cardi, unfortunately, allowed her name to be linked to this man. Now, Stefan is currently being accused of attempting to drug and violate this man by the name of Chris Blake Griffin. And shout out to the Neighborhood Talk for actually covering this story because I saw Wait, it on their huh? blog. Wait, but yeah, he Wait, said what? The talk. Chris Blake Griffin accuses Stefan Dix of drugging him and trying to have sex with him. Claims it played a part in him getting jumped by Stefan's brother. They likely wanted my mouth clothes about the closet and receiver oh. for actually covering the story Everybody because I saw it on their blog. <laughs> but yeah, he said story time that child. Stephon Check that tried out. to drug him and snatch his virgin hole, but he resisted. Oh, virgin and hole. because he resisted, he said that Stefan's brothers allegedly ordered people to attack him to silence him. Not only that, they stole this man's clothes and his chains. I mean, this is ridiculous. Because he didn't he want to be gay? receipts on his Instagram as <laughs> well. So... This ain't looking too good for the NFL player Stefan Diggs. Ooh. And Cardi should not have allowed him to be attached to her name like this because look how this whole PR stunt is backfiring. Girl. This is why people have to stop doing things for clout. All publicity is not good publicity. And speaking of clout chasers, let's talk about Megan Thee Stallion's ex-best friend Kelsey Nicole being put this on blast for trying to attach herself to Nicki Minaj's shoe brand with Lochi. Now, the shade room. Oh, did. maybe um, I didn't react to Impressive's versions. Well, damn, she talking about this late. <laughs> we talked about this days ago. This is what I've been talking about. I've been wanting to go to Impressive for, for some of the tea um, because I do like her channel above some of the others. But sometimes she, you know, be reacting to stuff late. And it's like, all right. Post this whole photo shoot that Kelsey did. And people were under the assumption that Nikki hired Kelsey because of how professional the photos looked. They thought it was an official photo shoot. And some people were even upset at the idea of Nikki hiring Kelsey because they know that Kelsey doesn't get along with Megan. They had a very bad fallout Wait, over Tory Lanez. So they thought that Nikki hired Kelsey to spite Megan. Oh, but but come to find out, Nikki had nothing to do with this photo Why shoot. Why would Nikki fact, make her take this down? This. The fact that the Shade Room posted this live five oh, days ago, did. and I'm just now finding out, child, LOL, I love being booked and busy. Models for my collection? She posted a photo in my sneakers. Me nor my company knew anything about it until she posted it. Oh. So she did what many people did when they received my sneakers. They posted a photo in them. Kelsey definitely went all the way out with this professional yeah, looking say, backdrop though. Professional. But she is in no way professionally connected to my sneaker brand. No matter what y'all pay the shade room to post, please remember that I did a sold out record breaking tour and was then oh, asked to do a second leg. Too busy and too successful for the clownery. These calculated okay, plans, stories, and narratives every time y'all gotta promote is only making me feel even more like I'm that beat. No confidence I mean, you in your talents and abilities as labels to sell albums or anything, so you waste money and energy on this. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Gag City Miami tonight. By the way, did Kelsey not tell them she wasn't modeling for the line barbs? Did she just let them think that? I gotta get caught up, y'all. <laughs> LOL chat. Ooh wee. So that's what Nikki had to say. And if you read between the lines, she's obviously hinting that maybe Megan's team paid the shade room to post this and circulate this story. 
so it can make her look bad, but she did not hire Kelsey. Kelsey did this on her own volition. She wasn't paid to do it or anything. She just did it just because. Now, she could have did a regular post showing herself wearing the sneaker, but she wanted to go all out to make it seem like Nikki was behind it. And I think this was a clout chasing move on Kelsey's part. It was very clout chasing. But anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Hmm. Interesting. That looked very, very professional. Why would Kelsey invest money into doing that years later when she hasn't said a peep about Meg? It's not like she's been like constantly trying to get clout off of Meg. If she was like trying to always keep her name out there and she was always doing goofy shit, then I would be like, okay, that that makes sense that she would do that. But it just doesn't make sense that she would just pop out with that. So hmm, side eye. <laughs> But sure, if y'all say that she wasn't involved, then all right. Because it does make me think, like, hmm, did Nikki get all that backlash? And then was like, okay, let's let's backpedal and say I didn't have nothing to do with this. And you did this on your own. And I'll pay you to uh, not say nothing. I'm not going to bash you or anything. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to just make it seem like you didn't have nothing to do with it. I don't know. Because that's a little sus. But whatever. Who knows? I don't know shit. Um, yeah, Beyonce and, and Jay are mad. <laughs> they tired of, of their name being dragged into this Diddy situation and this nonsense, but it just makes you wonder why do people keep saying this about the Carters? What's really going on? What will come out? I guess we will wait and see. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!